You're watching EVH Gear TV, brought to you by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones, and official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com. Now, here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH Gear artist Eric Broadbent. Test one two one two. Can you guys? Hey everyone, R two R three Locknuts here. Poison Ivy's here. Can you guys uh, hear me? Okay. Um, I've got some audio issues on my Mac screen over here. PC's working fine. Uh, hopefully you can. I'm actually not using the Mac to deliver audio tonight, so we should be okay. Hopefully everything is okay. Just doing a little bit of a demonstration with the Helix and my um, uh, fifty one fifty lunchbox. Is that on right now? It is too. That's loud. <laughs> Once I've got the amp really really loud in here. Let's try another track here. One sec. Tune back up. Hey, Showman. How's it going? What I'm doing here, let's go to another camera for a second. Uh, camera two. Turn that one off. There we go. That's better. Um, so the other day, I finally figured out how to hook up my Helix. You can see the lunchbox back there where my thumb is right now. Okay, so I'm able to hook up my Helix to control the lunchbox. It's a really a simple process. It's just something I didn't know how to do. So I've got my Helix controller down below. Now watch when I step on my clean and rhythm channels on my Helix controller. You'll see the lunchbox change channels. Okay, see that back there? Big difference. The rhythm channel is noisy. But as you can see, I'm changing with my Helix. So what I'm doing is I'm got the Helix running into my board left and right full stereo. And I'm running a microphone on the 412 cabinet back there to the lunchbox head running completely dry. So very, very similar to Eddie Van Halen's wet, dry, wet uh, sound. And I'm blending in the lunchbox into the center channel here. So we're going to try this for a second. Let's go back to the dirty channel for a minute. It's going to be a little noisy because it's very loud in here. That's why I'm doing it now and not later in the evening. Uh, let me see. Helix is turned off. And this is all you're going to hear. This is the uh, 5150 lunchbox dry. <laughs> So it sounds nice and beefy. So watch this. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to blend in the helix, okay? So nice and dry. Here comes some wet. Doesn't that sound nice? So you've got the wet on the left and right and dead dry up the center. Let's try a little bit of a cover tune here and see how it sounds together. One sec. Sorry for the extra hum. Like I say, the amplifier is really, really loud in here. Uh, 
Uh, let me see here. Open with. Here we go. that sound how'd that sound one second switch cameras again sorry for the noise like i say a lot of amplifier noise in the room tonight okay let's mute that microphone let's mute the laptop and let's mute the helix how's everybody doing we got like i say r2 r3 jumpins in poison ivy showman blues mike michaels thank you um are you using midi to change the channel or is it the latching switch it's a latching switch um, so the, there's no MIDI on the lunchbox or on the 5150 uh, large head but i could use a you know a breakout device whatever but no, just using the latching device, and it works great. And uh, this is a good one. Chris Jones says, how do you figure out who the guitar is at a party? He'll tell you. Um, uh, Show My Blue says, very nice. Thank you. And Mike Michael says the same thing as well, too. Poison Ivy giving me thumbs up. And we need Junior on the bass. That's what Chris is saying. Yeah, he'd love to come in. We were actually having a great jam the other night. We were playing some Gorillaz music and all through the mixer, so you couldn't hear us. It was great. Um, playing, uh, like I said, Gorillaz, it was fun. Uh, how does a guitar player protect his guitar from being stolen, stored in a bass case? <laughs> I love it. Uh, Jean-Marc Blue says, Chris Jones, good one. Uh, good day, all. Uh, Don Shepard's jumping in. And this won't be a long one because i got to get ready for the show um, at 9 o'clock tonight with Blue Saraceno. Looking forward to that. 
Um, no, he's not that bad. That's what Showman, Showman uh, is saying, not too bad. And uh, Zach Thong's jumping in saying, what's up, Eric? So I'm going to show you um, what the clean sounds like. This is cool. All right, so they're much nicer. You can listen to that. So let's go to the cabinet. Okay, so here is the EVH lunchbox. You can see it on the green channel back there, direct. It's just, just no effects, nothing in the loop, nothing to the front of the amplifier. And I'm micing the 412 cabinet behind me with the mic at 12 o'clock position. Pretty nice. I forgot how nice that 5150 amplifier sounds. Stunningly, beautifully clean. And you want to know something that's funny? That's at four watts. That's on the quarter power switch. That's at four watts. And it's earth shattering loud in here. But if I took my headphones off, it would be hurting my ears. So don't ever let anyone tell you that an amplifier cannot be jammed with a band. Okay, so now, so you hear that, right? You ready for this? Let's blend in the helix. Uh, showman saying, who's on tonight? Uh, Blue Saraceno. Look him up. He's awesome. Here comes the helix. Dry 5150 right up the center. And nice courtesy wetness thanks to line six. Let's change uh, cameras again for a second. using a chorus on there yet okay so watch this let's throw on let's throw on this is all line six helix now at this point okay um nice little pitch uh detune left and right let's throw on the tremolo first Tremolo, and let's try my favorite chorus. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Let's go back to a dirty channel. Let's try one of my songs, see how it sounds with it. So it's one of the, th let's go back to, before I do that, let's go back to the camera. One of the things I love about talking to the guys at line six, especially with Frank for shot last night and all the guys are the same there as well too. They don't want to just sell you one of their products and, and that be the only product that you use and you can't use anything else. All of the guys that work in, at Line 6 are tube lovers. They love their amplifiers as well, too. They've got great collections themselves, and they love to see their stuff used in conjunction with other cool stuff. 
And for example, tonight I'm using it with the 5150, and I haven't fired up those amps in a while. I, I've been playing uh, the, the the rig here, the, the quiet rig, and been loving it to death. And I thought, you know what? It's not fair. i got to get back and get those amps working. Now, it is a little, I'm, I'm used to quietness in here, and it's certainly not quiet anymore. Uh, I'm getting loud, loud amp room, but it's nice. You're feeling the air. You're feeling the speakers move. And uh, it's just so beautiful to use the conjunction of the, of, the, of the two, dry up the center, wet on the right. So I'm going to try to open up a track here. Excuse me one second. Take another sip of coffee before it gets cold. It's very cold out here today, so it gets cold in here quickly too. Although those tube amps fired up are kind of adding a couple degrees in here. Okay, so let's go to band songs here. Excuse me, pardon the sniffs. All right, and uh, all right, so let's go to a dirty a dirty channel. And as I step on my Helix control, you'll see the foot the lunchbox back there go from green to blue. It should. Oh, you know why I'm in stomp box mode? Let me get a stomp. Now I'll try it. And you also hear a little bit of noise. That's where I could use my noise suppressor. Um, but yeah, cool. <laughs> Okay, so to give an example again before we start playing, I'm going to give you the Dirty on the Dirty channel without the Helix. Little bit of clack that's from the microphone picking it up i didn't mute it there so now we're going to pop on the helix make sure we don't have chorus on anymore that would sound bad okay chorus is off all right so now we'll try playing with a band and Mike says, I uh, missed something. So this is not exactly for cable. Are you using an effects loop? Okay, let's, let's explain that for a sec. Okay, so Mike, what I'm doing is I'm running straight into the Helix. Okay, directly into the Helix. No guitar pedals, nothing in between. And through the guitar through, which is on the back, um, at the top, right? I guess it is in the back of the Helix rack. Right, so unbuffered uh, or whatever, the unprocessed output directly into the front of the lunchbox. So no forward cable method, nothing. Just running, um, you know, into the Helix for process sounds of the mixer, then direct to the 5150 uh, input. Nothing in the effects there either. And I have a mic on the 412 cabinet panned at 12 o'clock. Um, and thank you, Zach. He's noticed the PRS. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice guitar as well, too. Um, I like that baby. Um, so that's it. Yeah, no forward cable method, no nothing like that. Uh, another person, I forget who it was on the on Chad's um, uh, Helix family Facebook group there as well, uh, made the suggestion with the, one of the Line 6 wirelesses. I think it's the G70. Uh, I forget. I'm not 100% right on that. But he said it has multiple outputs. And another way I could have done this as well, too, was run to the Helix uh, with one output of the wireless and run to the 5150 with the second output of the wireless. But this is, you know, however you want to get it there, it, it's doing the same purpose. So this works. So I'm going to try playing one of my songs in conjunction here and see how it sounds. Helix is back on, uh, cab is back on, right? and once I get the tune running, I will um, kill my microphone to get rid of some of that string clack. Oops, I don't want to do that. You know, no problem, Mike. You got it. You got it. Okay, that's really good. I'm on the rhythm channel. And if you notice my differences between my rhythm uh, patch on the Helix, which I love to death. One sec. There's just a hint of delay, just a slight little bit of a... You hear that? And then I go to lead. Nice little trail off. I like that. That's the only real difference is in a slight bit of volume difference. All right, so I'll give this a try. And I haven't played one of my songs in a few days, so I could be a little rusty. And actually, before we do that, I'll switch cameras because you can't see anything other than top of my forehead.
How'd that one sound? That's pretty cool, right? Let's try dropping down to D. Chad's jumping in. Chad, my, Chad Boston. How you doing, buddy? Mike Michaels uh, is in here as well. Sweet, 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 man. This is great. Fun stuff. A couple more songs, and I'm going to get ready for the uh, show. So, Chad, I know you're just jumping in late. Let's go back to a clean channel for a second. And, you, Chad, you're hearing a lot of noise right now just because I've got the uh, EVH 5150 lunchbox on loud. Okay? So here's the clean. Okay, so first of all, here's just the clean on the uh, 5150 lunchbox. Oops, sorry, I'm down. I'm dropping drop D, and I've got a one humbucker guitar here, so I, you know, I can't really do much with the tone here, but it gives you a nice idea. Zach says the Helix sounds awesome. It's a cool piece of gear, uh, and Eric sounding good. Thank you. To be honest with you, it's changed my life. It's totally changed my life. It's made me want to play guitar every single day of my life. Not that anything else doesn't. It just really makes me want to play guitar. I love it to death. It's it's, it's a blessing to me. Okay, so Chad, there you go. That's just the um, the fifty one fifty. Let's blend in the helix. And I'm gonna try to. I'm not gonna try to make it go in your face. Boom. Let's. We're gonna be subtle with it this time and bring it up a little bit more. That was kind of in your face, but. So let's try that again. 
Okay, strictly 5150. Blend in helix. Even that alone sounds beautiful. You hear that A, that just love droning of the A? to the helix with the uh well i guess i can't put a delay on the helix at the moment let's bring in a little bit more helix This little song I'm playing here, I'm going to jump it over to the dirty channel of the Helix and the 5150 together. And I love the fact that it switches channels for me. Love it. Cold Gen 5150 says crystal clear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. the camera <laughs> i'm looking at this thing here uh, okay it's all good thank you chad thank you chad thank you poison thank you coach 5150 um i'm not i'm preaching to the choir here when i'm talking to the helix fans here in the in the crowd um you know a piece of gear comes along in someone's life and it just m changes things for them and i'm becoming slightly better as a musician and um, that's all i'm going to say because i never want to be one of those guys that says yeah you know blah 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 I'm just, I'm feeling happier about playing guitar. That's all I'm going to say. It makes me want to play guitar. It's making me a little bit better, and I need that. I would be the first one to admit it. Um, I'm just loving it to death. The guitar, it's just fun. It, it's, it's speaking to me in a different way. I don't want to sound stupid, but it's like there's a better communication with the instrument now, and uh, it's really nice. Nice conversations. Just 
love it. And I mean, a humbucker guitar, one humbucker guitar, sounds great. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Okay, so that's a good question from JT at the end. Uh, you're probably jumping in a little bit late here. J and Jamie Trevino's end. So JT says, what's your live uh, What's your live gig setup? Well, I don't gig anymore. I, unfortunately, I don't gig. I'm with the guy at home running a little show. And uh, I used to play all the time. He was a traveling musician, professional. And it was this was long before the modeling things. Well, I shouldn't say that. You know, you had your Digitex and things back like that, RP100s and all that stuff back in the rack units. Um, I was always a, a few pedal guy into a PV5150 which eventually became the you know, EVH 5150 and so on and so forth. So now I'm just here. But what you're seeing today is a combination in hearing is a combination of dry 5150 and the lunchbox amplifier back there. A 100% stock dry into a 412 cabinet mic straight up at 12 o'clock and uh, blending in the Helix left and right stereo. So that's the rig of choice today. No speakers other than that. I do have some nice monitors coming in from Persona soon. The uh, ES8s, I think they're called. Eris 8s, something like that. Looking forward to an A. Apparently they can handle some of the sound of the helix without going too too loud they're somewhere like around 80 watts powered or something like that um so what i'm going to do here where was i going with this i was going to play another one of the songs here in a second um but yeah it's a, it's really putting me in the mood to play guitar and i'm trying to keep an eye on the time too because i got to call uh blue saracino at eight o'clock for a test it's gonna be a fun show tonight with them i'm really excited and i really had a good time last night with everyone that tuned in a lot of you that are here right now with uh, frank it's very very cool Man, I could just play guitar all night long. If Blue Saracino called me right now and said, Eric, I'm not feeling good, can we reschedule? I'd, I'd be really, really bummed. I'd be very bummed, but I'd sit here and play guitar. I hope he doesn't call and cancel now. I, I, just, I just love I love my instrument now, and I, I gotta thank Line 6 for this. Okay, enough sappy romancing. I know why don't me and Line Six get a room, right? Okay, let's play. Um, let's play another one. We're gonna play uh, "Pass You By." Now, this isn't my favorite version of the song, but it's okay nonetheless. Can't complain. And the reason why I want to play this one is because I want to get some. Uh, I want to show you what the Helix sounds like, nice and clean. Oh, Jamie says, um, uh, "Oh, fantastic! He's getting the power Seymour Duncan Power Stage 700 tomorrow. Can't wait, dude! I really want to try that amp. I really want to try that. So it looks almost like a Mac Mini." Actually, the it's the seven hundred. Uh, the seven hundred is the rack, right? I think, and and the smaller one is the one that looks like the it's like more of a square box. But either way, that thing is f phenomenal with Helix. From what people are saying, it's almost like they should be sold as a package. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try this right here. Will that work? Let's get a level check here for a sec. <laughs> Just a fifty one fifty. We'll have to let go. Sorry about that, sorry.
That was fun. I think that's where I'm going to leave it. What'd you guys think of that? That was I really enjoyed that. That was really cool. On a hum, one humbucker guitar. It's nice. I'm going to be in a really good mood for the show tonight, and I hope some of you can tune in as well, too. Um, yeah, there you go. Mark says, uh, uh, great tone, makes me want to pick mine up. Thank you. And you know what? I like that. When other people make me want to pick up my guitar, and a lot of you people are those people, it just feels good, right? Um, and Chad says, fantastic, Eric. Thank you, sir. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much. And Mark says also, greatest feeling when everything sounds right. Yeah. And I did not want to butcher that one part. Of all the things I've ever done in my life as a guitar player, there's a part right there in that outro passage that means the world to me. And it's so kindergarten simple. And it's the climax of that solo. And it's just it's just notes, right? It's going to be noisy here for a second, but this part here. I love this part. <laughs> Let me, let me try to go back to the other camp just so you can see. And it, I mean, stuff doesn't have to be crazy, stupid, flashy to be cool, right? I wish I could do some of that stuff. Um, but it's simple. Watch me climb here. Just. It is time. It's time to get serious. Another sip of coffee, and I have to go get ready for the show. I could play right up until, right up until I got to call Blue Saraceno. And I got a couple more questions I want to throw on the itinerary from tonight too. Got a really good, really good show tonight. I think it's going to be fun. And then back again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at three o'clock Eastern time, uh, Jim Reed from Stuart Travel Guitars is going to be here as well too. Bobby Clipper says great, and uh, the loss is crystal clear, dude. Thank you. And Jamie, you had a lot to do with this as well too, with some suggestions for me. So thank you so very much. So that's it. I've talked too long. I just wanted this to be a quick jam. Come back, come back and see us uh, at 9 o'clock tonight, a couple hours from now, an uh, hour and 15 minutes from now. It's going to be a fun show. Thank you so very, very much. It's Friday, baby. It's the weekend. Thrilled. I'm going to go give my beautiful princess a kiss and get ready for this show tonight. We'll see you real soon, everyone. Thank you so very, very much. And you know what? One last thing. 
uh, Zach says that was awesome. Eric Shred, Shred Wars with Jared Dines. Here we go. And Patrick Kish, uh, who's doing the dishes. Um, I do the dishes. Uh, no, the dishwasher does most of them, but I do I, I do some too. And that, when I say dishwasher, I mean a machine, not a person. Uh, so I take care of that stuff. Uh, Sandra's getting better, but I still like to try to keep the house clean for her, and I do a lot of those those things. Um, I'm on the final stretch to the 5,000 mark. When I checked the YouTube earlier, let me have a quick look. It was kind of cool. This is kind of neat. And then I'm going to shut up for a bit because once you hit 5,000, you don't talk for a little bit about it. Give me a second. I know I'm on the countdown, I think close to 100, and we'll be at 5,000. Let me see here. Where's my channel? You guys probably find out quicker than I will. One second. Yeah, baby, 4897. 4897. So 103 people, and we've hit 5,000 subscribers in two years. I'm thrilled. Hey, it says EVH Care TV is live now. I'm going to maybe go watch that. No, I can't watch that because I'm doing that. Okay, so I can't watch that. See you soon, all right? Thank you so very much. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Who's doing the dishes? Uh, Blues, Blue Saracino. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I said, yes, I did. Oh, hell yes, I did say that Blue Saracino is on the show. And uh, it's going to be really, really cool. Um, it's funny, I didn't have his number listed in my phone. And he called the other day, and I, I, a lot of times I get these scammer phone calls. It's in Los Angeles. I'm like, uh, I don't want to answer it. And then it's like, hello, hey, Eric, it's Blues. I'm like, okay, awesome. Store that number in the phone. It's pretty cool. So yeah, Blue Series, you know, check out some of his material, man. It's fantastic. We're going to talk about some new stuff he's got coming as well, too, project-wise. Not necessarily um, instrumental-wise, uh, but uh, movie scores and things like that. So it's going to be very, very cool. Good one, Mark. And uh, um, let me see here. Um, uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. <laughs> All right. Love you, Blank Palette. We will see you real, real, real soon. All right? 2018 is the year. It is. See you real soon, everyone. Cheers. I am now on Patreon. If you enjoy my content and wish to support my channel and what I do, then please check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash evhgeartv. Your support assures the continued growth of this channel and a fun community in which to share our love for Van Halen, music gear, and much more. My name is Eric and I'm playing the Frankenstrat guitar. Video production services provided by Design39 Media. Visit Design39Media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs.